Alright, today I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your UVerse DVR. This is, you can't really make it out, but it's IPN4320. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the internal hard drive to get a larger size in there. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is unscrew these three screws in the back. And then there's a screw on each side. Now to do this, to perform this uh, upgrade, you're going to need a screwdriver set, which the one I'm using is uh, T10, which will undo all the screws on the outside and the inside that we're going to do. And of course you're going to want your larger hard drive. In this case, I will be using a 1 terabyte um, C, uh, Seagate Barracuda. So let's go ahead and get the... DVR opened up and we'll go from there. So sorry I don't have a tripod or anything so I'm just gonna have to sit it down and do it that way. So hopefully you can make out what's going on. So the first thing we're gonna do is unscrew the three back screws. Okay now that those are done we're gonna unscrew the side screws which you can put in the same pile as the back ones and you can tell the difference because the side screws are a little bit longer than the back ones. Alright, now that that's done, basically what's going to happen is the back is going to slide outward. It's going to slide that way. It doesn't lift, it doesn't do anything like that, but while you're sliding it back, you're going to want to push down on the middle front as you slide it back and that will it's got a little hinge that that you can uh, pop off or whatever. not pop off but push down as you're sliding the case back as you'll see and then now you can see that the front is like that and then you basically just slide it off I have it on a bed here so it's not the most Sturdy. Let me set this down. Okay. All right. So now that that's done, you can see the inner workings of the DVR. Basically, the screws you're going to need to unscrew to access and basically pull out the DVR is this one, this one, this one, this one, and then there's three, or I'm sorry, there's um, three. Yeah, three on the side. Which actually hold the DV which mount the uh, the hard drive. So we'll go ahead and unscrew those now using the same screwdriver bit. So Alright, so once you have those screws, those four screws removed, this top metal piece will just pop up. It'll just lift up easily. So you can just set that aside. Now all we need to do is unscrew the three screws on the side here. The big ones, you, you can ignore this first one. It has nothing to do with the hard drive. Three. And the hard drive will just kind of just kind of lay there because once those screws are out it's just kind of it's just laying there basically so you lift it up pull out the SATA cable and the power cable from the back and you just lift uh, straight backwards with these and then that drive is out and you can set that aside that way if you ever need to return the DVR you want to keep the original hard drive that way you can put it back in there and you won't get in trouble that way then you grab your new um, hard drive take it out of the package and then basically we're just going to put it back back just how the other old one was so we have the new hard drive here which is the Seagate 
um, Barracuda 7200, one terabyte. Um, so we will take this, draw. and then you're just going to try to lay it back down in there for the time being anyway because what we need to do now is mount it I'll show you how to do that there's the three holes that you took the screws out of earlier now the hard drive has as you can see three holes on the side of it and you're just going to line those up and mount it with the screws so I'll go ahead and grab one I always mount the middle one first just to uh, the, just to keep it easy you're going to want to keep your hand on the other side of the hard drive to hold it in place just like that that one goes in now you may need to adjust it up or down to make sure the holes line up fine but kind of done this a couple times so not really a big deal. Okay, so now that the new hard drive is in, you're going to take your metal piece from earlier, lay it back down right in the middle. You're just going to line up that hole with this, the two holes right there on the actual hard drive itself. So let me go ahead and screw those in. Then we put the case together and we will be good to go. Alright, now that all the screws are back in, what you're going to do is you're going to take your case and you're going to slide it back onto the hard drive. The easiest way to do that, I mean, you could do it however you want, but to maybe pry it up on something like that and then just slide the case down from top to bottom like this now you see where the catch is a little bit there which you don't have to push down or anything just push it up against the lock in place then we're going to redo our screws. The silver small ones go in the one, two, three, and then there's two longer screws. One goes there, and then one goes there. So let's go ahead and do that. do the side screws here which are the last two and then we are good to go I will explain what hap what will happen when you uh, plug the drive up for the first time because basically what happens is since, since it's a new and different hard drive UVerse will recognize it it'll format it so it'll show you one screen first with I believe it's one gear and then there's a loading bar at the bottom it'll then reboot go to a, another screen with a gray um, gear where it's just one gear and then there, there will be a loading bar and okay you can see after it formats it does the blinking light and it'll give you no picture just black what you're gonna do is just sit there don't do anything just you know, go get something to eat, go get something to drink, just let it be for a little bit. Give it a, um, anywhere from 10 to 45 minutes, and um, when you come back and it's working, you'll have your TV picture, so we will come back when that's done. Okay, now the box is recognized, and you get the AT&T U-verse screen, which comes up, and you'll see you have, you have your, the light is, the power light is no longer flashing and you have your link light and your HD light. So you just wait for this to boot up and it'll go back to normal. 
television and uh, then you can check the stats and you'll be be good to go. The trick is when it's doing that flashing, it, you know, it kind of makes you think like, oh no, you know, the drive's not compatible, it's not going to work. That's why the trick is to just leave it, walk away, and just periodically check on it. In this case, it took about 10 minutes. Okay, now you can see it says you're okay to watch TV. So, hit OK. And now we're back to TV. Now this drive I had already upgraded, so um, I had done it like two nights ago. So there are recordings on here, but I will show you the recording stats. That way you can see that I'm not just, you know, put the regular drive back in there. But you'll see um, browse recordings. I only have a few. I mean, I only will maybe have like three or four. I guess it would help if I clicked on it. All right. So you see, I have the four recordings. Go to recording space, and my drive is 98% full, and that leaves me 994 hours of standard def or 363 hours of HD recording. And so the upgrade works fine. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and um, I will try to uh, get to responding to you. And I will also be showing how to upgrade DirecTV um, HR24 and HR23s with two terabytes of space. All right, thanks.